he was always um, there supporting me. And, you know, when I would cry, he would always be there. Only on News 5, the story of a heartbroken wife who never got the chance to kiss her husband goodbye. He's gone, deported to Mexico by immigration agents in Cleveland after what he thought was a routine check-in. All while just steps away from getting a visa that would have allowed him to stay. News 5's Megan Hickey spoke with Joanna Perez about her story. And Megan, she still doesn't know where her husband is. Right, he's somewhere in Mexico, but agents wouldn't tell her where. She said she always knew this day could come, but she didn't think it would happen like this. He was the first man in Joanna Perez's life oh, mm -hmm. to treat her with respect. Our love is like very, it's one of a kind, it's unique, you know, and I feel like that's how a woman should feel, you know, cared for and loved and appreciated. She and her husband Edson were working tirelessly to get him his citizenship after his illegal status was uncovered as a passenger in a traffic stop in 2013. Edson has no criminal record and didn't drive because he didn't have a license. Miss him a lot. They had already been approved for the first step of a marriage visa when he received a regular notice for an interview with ICE. We didn't think any of it, you know, just like a regular interview. And but what was usually a 20 minute meeting turned into an hour and a half. Finally, Joanna asked when he'd be able to leave. No, he, he got deported. I'm like, well, can I know where he is? Like, where did you, what part of Mexico of the border? Like, where, 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 we can't give you that information. Joanna began hysterically calling for information, but she struggled to get any information on her husband's whereabouts. The thing is, is that they don't let you know. You know, I'm trying to figure it out, you know, where he is, is he in Louisiana, is he in Tiffin? Immigration attorney Brian DeFranco tells me the lack of communication is typical. He was removed at some point today, but they couldn't even clarify when. He explained that immigration and customs agents are not required to give families specific information about their loved one's whereabouts. And he's seeing many more non-criminal clients like Edson being deported every day since President Trump took office. The new rules are for the most part, every person who violated immigration law at some point in the past is a priority. Perez had braced herself for a day like this, but she's upset by the way it was handled. They don't care. They don't care, you know. And she'd give anything to give her husband that final kiss goodbye. Yeah, he's, he's worth it. Now, I reached out to ICE about the case, but as of this evening, did not receive an official response. Now, Edson can still work on his marriage visa from Mexico, but I'm told that that could take at least a year. Live in Cleveland, Megan Hickey, News 5.